Hello, and thank you so much for joining me for this WNCT Now Digital News Update. I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio. Today, thousands of people joined together at the steps of the Lincoln Memorial to commemorate the 1963 March on Washington. Reporters from our D.C. Bureau have been there all day covering the event. This marks 57 years since the march and gathering where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. Activists gathered to stand up for racial injustice and police brutality against black Americans. The event had an array of speakers, including Martin Luther King III and the granddaughters of the late civil rights leader. I am so honored to be here, but before I say something, I want you to hear from the future of our nation, the only granddaughter of Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King, my daughter and Andrea's daughter, Yolanda Renee King. Should I lower this? Okay. Some of you may remember that two years at the March for Our Lives, I said, spread the word. Have you heard all across the nation? We are going to be a great generation. That was in 2018. I didn't know what would hit us in 2020, a pandemic that shut our schools and put our young lives on hold. More killings of un unarmed black people by police. Attacks on our right to vote. More killing, oh wait. The worst economic crisis since the Great Depression that we learned about in school. And more extreme weather than ever before. But great Pitt County Schools is launching its online dashboard today. The dashboard will show positive coronavirus cases in the district. It's meant to keep families and students in the area aware of recent cases. The dashboard will be updated every Friday. The current report says from August 24th to the 27th, there were 11 new positive cases within Pitt County Schools. Yesterday, Pitt County School Board members met to discuss whether to transition to all remote learning, just as many universities have done. County Health Director Dr. John Silvernail recommended making the shift to virtual learning for one month. The, bo the board voted 7-2 to two to continue in-person class options. This has met left many teachers and families upset with Pitt County Schools. Not on your side's Caroline Boyer will have more about this story coming up for you tonight at 5 p.m. All right, stay with us, and we will be right back with some more news after this short break. There are everyday actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Wash your hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Stay home when you are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects with household cleaning spray. For more information, visit cdc.gov slash COVID-19. This message brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're just tuning in, I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio, providing you with some late afternoon updates. WNCT is bringing you live streamed updates from our website every Monday through Friday at 1.30 p.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. to bring you the latest and up-to-date news before our nightly newscast. A section of Old Fayetteville Road in Brunswick County is expected to close next week for bridge repairs. The road between Highland Hills Drive Northeast and Ricefield Branch Street Northeast is scheduled to close from 8 a.m. on August 31st to 5 p.m. on September 4th. Crews will be adding concrete and asphalt to the bridge deck spanning Sturgeon Creek. Drivers should anticipate needing extra time for their commute. A local fire department is accepting donations to send to the Gulf Coast to help victims of Hurricane Laura.
The department is collecting any and all types of items at this time. The Mill Creek Volunteer Fire Station has people there on duty seven days a week, 24 hours a day. That wraps up this WNCT Now late afternoon update. We have more news coming up for you tonight on our broadcast at 5 and 6. Thank you so much for watching.